So today I'm going to show you how you can apply a displacement in SAP 2000 on a joint because when first I wanted to do so for myself and I didn't know how to do that it was very frustrating for me as you will see what I'm talking about in future minutes. So for a start I'm going to uh, put the grids it doesn't matter here for me because I don't care uh, what exactly I'm going to uh, use here so imagine I have an area I don't need to change them because I only want to show you how you can apply a displacement on the in the sub 2000 so at first I have to bring my window to be as in XZ direction which I want to apply it you can see this is the one so now I have my uh, shell area or my area which whatever the material is I will come and do the restraints for these two supports so I imagine they are like this and now if I go to the load pattern for example I want to apply a lateral force which type is none of these ones so I will uh, make the type to be the other type I click OK then you come here and I want to apply a time history for example uh, I'm gonna use one of the ISO files so uh, which I had already made them in my uh, files I just need to find it okay I have it here and you need to uh, put the values to be as time and function values and now if you click on display graph you will see my uh, function that I'm gonna use click OK and uh, let me modify the name as ISO OK OK and now I need to define a load case so here you see this is a linear static one but I want to make it as nonlinear time history uh, and uh, so I should click on time history as f at first then click on nonlinear and for my specific uh, reason I have to use direct integration you can use also modal or direct inter integration which I will talk about them in future episodes of this one these are more uh, specific details that we are not going to go into that so here you choose it to be the load pattern and I want the load pattern to be the lateral one and the function will be the one that I already defined as ISO and here you can give it a scale factor for example if you have the displacement and you want to apply it to be three times bigger you only need to make this one as three and then click on modify but now I don't want to do that so I will go with only uh, one scale factor here because my loading protocol was 42 seconds so I will make number of output time steps to be uh, 420 and the step size should be 0 0.1 so I have 42 seconds and I don't want to have any damping uh, any time integration uh, specifications modifications so I will click on this and now I'm gonna uh, choose this point and for that one I'm gonna put a spe uh, special joint here draw a special joint I'm gonna click on this and now if I assign a joint load which is a displacement which I defined as lateral and I uh, give it to be one millimeter you may think that it is alright now I have the uh, displacement load here but if, but if I run my uh, analyze you will see that it doesn't work that's the frustrating part so let me do that I don't want these two to be run I will click on do not run for them okay and before that I'm gonna put the analysis option to be a 
on only XZ plane because we only have the shell area on XZ plane, not in the other one. So now if I run my model and I'm gonna save it on a new folder called YouTube. So this is my first one doing here. I hope you like it and subscribe it so we can uh, do more in future. Okay, displacement and save. Okay, now I ran it. And if you look at the displacement, deform shaped, you will see that nothing has happened. That's why I made this video. So there is a very simple way to do this and you only need to change one step to make it work. And that's it. You want to apply the displacement in this joint, you need to restrain that. Restrain that in the translation that you want to apply the displacement in. So here translation 1 means in X direction, so you need to restrain the joint in X direction. I click OK. And, and now if I run my analyze, you will see that it has the deformed shape. It shows the deformed shape. So definitely it needs more modifications and uh, it depends on your project but this is how we apply displacement in SAP 2000. I hope you've liked this video and I hope this video was helpful. Uh, please write me in the comments if you need to know more about this. I will uh, answer you back as soon as possible. Thank you so much. Don't forget to click on subscribe button. Bye bye.